Okay, let's do this ragu. What you need for the ragu? You need onion, garlic, celery, two pieces, two carrots, uh, salt, pepper, oil, wine. Wine it is. <laughs> some people some people said red wine, some people said uh, white wine. Do whatever you feel. I use the, uh, the, the white. Then meat. We need to talk about meat. So United States, you can find pancetta or uh, pig meat, right, Amore? Pig? Sausage. Yeah, pig. Pork. 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 Meat, pig, pork, meat, okay. <laughs> you can find. <laughs> smell awful here. Smell awful. I try it, smell awful. So we just going with beef. So you need to have one pound the beef, all right? Then, this it is for hard to hard broth. Okay, you need uh, just one carrot, uh, some sedano, and some onions. And then we have hard sauce. So hard sauce, you need to have at least one liter and a half the uh, tomato. Let me see how, my, how big the cans are. Uh, 15 ounces. 15 ounces, so we have yes. three 15 ounce cans. And I add cento pelati, San Marzaro. Peeled tomatoes. Yes, this is two pounds three ounces or thirty five ounces. Yes, this is not. It's an extra. I do like this. Okay. Well, this is your recipe. It's so my if recipe. They want to make it. They know. Yes, it's not my recipe in the United States. So let's do the broth first of all. So you take this chunks. Mm -hmm. Okay, you come with me. And then I start already pulling, boiling some oil, uh, some water, and then oof, you put your your stuff here, and then you leave. I knew it was too long. Just snap it. Yeah. You leave here can make the broth, okay? So you need to leave the boil and then make the vegetable oil. The important is not salt. You can buy stuff already made, but no salt, okay? Okay, now, next step, it is cut your carrots and your celery. You can cut in big pieces like I like it, or you can cut really, really small. So like, you can cut like that okay so now i'm gonna cut the carrots the celery and i'm gonna cut half onion and then i'm gonna cut all this garlic in pieces in the meantime we can already make we put some oil in the pan right and then we put a uh, low fire. Oh. And we warm up our oil for the sofrito. Now that we cut all our uh, vegetables, we, do, we start uh, put the garlic and the onion first. This is the best sound ever, in my opinion. Okay, I just wait for put the carrots in the celery, and now it's gonna this maybe I need a recut. Okay, it is big pieces, but the onion and when you cook the the sugo go really really disappear. So in a my ragu, usually I put uh, rosemary and sage. I want to show you how cut the rosemary. Most people pick up rosemary like this, okay? They remove the the things, but it's totally wrong. So you take your scissors, and then every time you see, you see, you can cut here, you can cut here. So I need a, a nice piece. So here, so the rosemary gonna build more and then come more bigger. And now, same thing for the sage. This is our sage. You can see, I go down here. Where is the, you see that they make two plants here? I'm gonna go here and cut. Okay, after just a minute, you can put your, I put my carrots and my celery to do. This is the Italian basic. Then like this, and you leave a little bit here. 
Okay, after three minutes, we put hard meat. Okay. And now we need to smash the meat. And then we need to start cooking the meat. But what I'm gonna do, it is put my rosemary and sage. Rosemary and sage is not in the original recipe. Okay, this is mine. So if you don't have it, don't do it doesn't matter no it's not a big deal so let's put the sage okay this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take my scissors i cut small pieces okay and same thing with the rosemary i'm gonna do like this much easy with the scissor cutting small pieces and then I put my little rosemary down because now we need to smash in small pieces the meat and leave the meat cook and then after the meat is cooked we put hard wine so this process sometimes take that 10 or 15 minutes so we have to the next step to put our uh, the meat is complete uh, cook remember the meat need to be cooked 100 percent and then you put your wine right and now we need to wait how get much the, wine probably like a fourth of a cup yeah yeah for the cup and now we need get the wine, uh, the alcohol evaporation. So we stay here and then we keep start, start the sugo. And then we need get the evaporation of the alcohol. Now the alcohol is gone. You cannot smell any more alcohol. So what we're gonna do, we put our tomato sauce. Okay, we put everything. Whoa, like that, like this, and let me do this a little bit. You have this big pieces, but I gonna no right now, <laughs> but later I gonna smash it. I never smash it in the beginning. <laughs> let it let it soften up first. Yes, and then uh, okay, and then I go low, really really low then this is it so ragu maybe if you smash it in the in the bottom it's much easy so i tell you how not do it so ragu need a lot a lot of water okay i mean not a lot of water but need water for cook so that's why we not add normal water but we add our um broth so when needed when you see too dry too dry this you take right now you're gonna take a spoon uh, a scoop the broth and then you go like this okay so need to go broth and then from right now what you need to do it like is you're gonna cover but not complete you don't need to complete cover always low remember low uh, for two hours this need to cook so every 20 minutes you come here you check your ragu you say like this and then say okay for can on attach so it doesn't get burned or stuck to the bottom yes and then if you see case dry you put your uh, broth that is the steps Okay guys, it's 20 minutes for the for the first time, for the two hours, I just start. Everything is perfect, no need water, no need nothing, it's perfect. But I'm gonna now put some salt, okay? Salt and pepper, pepper, it is like you like it, so you can put some salt, some pepper, and then wait a little bit, and then maybe uh, take a spoon and try it. If it's too salty, non-salty. Some people 
uh, put salt in the meat and in the um, a pepper in the meat already in the beginning so that they don't need to add salt you know salted pepper is just in base how you like it i don't like too much salt and too much pepper i try to reduce salt so just about you guys all right guys so it's two hours ragu is ready so i try one carrot because when you have big pieces this take maybe a little bit uh, to cook and i try one salary piece and they are really really soft like i said if you have uh, kids you can smash it like this you smash the carrot but um it's hard work so you have to do it in the beginning cut small pieces okay and one thing you can see case a lot of sauce here a lot of tomato sauce because in my recipe i put extra so usually you need 750 750 you see grams here so i say you need uh at least two three cans of this i add this so it's a lot so if you want to uh, do like me you can use one of this and remove one so two this and one this because this is have the big pieces i don't add uh broth this time because it was enough uh, water from the big tomatoes okay all right guys enjoy